What's going on guys, I'm Noam Player here and today we're going to go over all 10 of the variants for the M1 Irons, which is the brand new pistol in Advanced Warfare. We've got all 10 of the variants from Enlisted to Professional. We're going to talk about their stats, which ones are good, which ones aren't, and some very interesting kind of details about some of these weapons. So as always, if you enjoy the video, give it a like rating down below and also make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on all my future videos. So the first variant is the M1 Irons Gunslinger. This is a very standard straight up version. It simply gives you the Akimbo perk for free without having to spend the points on it and this is a pretty simple version doesn't have any positives or negatives in terms of stats it doesn't allow you to use any other attachments other than the akimbo i think you can also use the advanced rifling that's the only attachment you're actually allowed to use on it when you have akimbo but this is a very simple version it actually looks pretty cool it's got that kind of blue gold and brown theme going on there very classical looking weapon and i think akimbo is definitely one of the best attachments you can have on this weapon coupled with the advanced rifling as well so the gunslinger is a very good variant i would definitely recommend to use that one next up is the enforcer which is kind of a more simple weapon i don't actually like it all too much it's got plus Plus one in the handling and it's got minus one in range that means it's going to be effective at a much smaller range that means the drop off is actually going to drop off a lot worse at those extended ranges but you shouldn't really be using this weapon at further ranges anyway but the bonus is that it has plus one for hit fire spread which means 10% of a tight art hit fire spread so kind of like an integrated laser sight and that's quite good if you like hit firing this thing that's definitely a good variant for you but I personally don't like hit firing the M1 irons but that's an okay variant very average kind of has a good point and a bad point which uh, kind of cancel each other out uh, next up is the desert one and this is a pretty interesting one it's got plus in reserve ammo so it's got more ammo like to kind of be able to reload into so you can go on longer kill sheet essentially and that minus one damage isn't actually as bad as you might think you might think that it's going to be a lot more shots to kill those further ranges but it actually does make a difference at all it's still a four shot kill at its longest range it went from the previous damage which was 33 down to 25 and that's still four bullets to kill of course 100 points of health uh, so you may think the minus in damage is a bad thing but actually on this weapon it doesn't make any difference at all unless the enemy is weak already the next one is the stranger and this is another variant that i have and this is very very good this is plus one in range and minus one in handling i personally like i said don't like hip firing things this is good for me it's got that plus in the range which means it's going to be a little bit more effective at those extended ranges if there's someone that's far away and the next variant is the sundown this is a professional variant and it's got plus two in range minus in handling and minus in mobility so that means the hip fire spread is worse by 10 percent. it's wider it's going to spray a lot more wider and be a little bit more inaccurate and the aim down sight time is also slower by 10 percent. so that's the minus one in handling and mobility and the positives it's got plus two in range so again it's gonna be a lot more effective at a longer ranges and uh, so i think the sundown is definitely a very very good version next up is the showdown and this is definitely one of my personal favorite weapons this has got increased range by one and it also has the integrated akimbo attachment which like i said is a very very good attachment these guns are beastly in akimbo very very good and uh, one of the negatives is that it has a 10 percent reduce in aim down sight time that's what the what minus one in mobility means and of course these things are akimbo so you can't aim down sight with them so that's of course like a placebo thing and if you know what the mobility stat means then you'll know it's completely wasted that is a very very good variant it's got minus one ability of course that's completely unnoticeable so a very cool thing there and of course you're gonna be able to use less attachments because akimbo is on there but personally i think this is an amazing amazing variant you've got three akimbo so you have to spend a pick 13 points on it you get extended range and that minus ability like i said is completely unnoticeable the next one is the shootout and this is i think a very bad version personally i actually got this in my supply drop opening that i did and uh, this has a free red dot site included it also got increased accuracy by five percent so plus one and it's also got a decreased fire rate by one and i think this is an absolutely awful version because the m1 irons is very 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 accurate you do not need any kind of things to help it be more accurate so plus one in accuracy i think is kind of a waste also the red dot site is a waste because the iron sights are amazing on this thing you don't need any kind of red dots on this thing so that's a completely wasted point right there to have a free attachment for the red dot site and the minus in fire rate is really going to hurt it because i think the best thing about the irons is its fire rate they can shoot really fast and if you reduce that i think it's going to be a massive 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 penalty so i would not recommend the shooter at all and i think it's the worst m19 variant there is in the game out of all the 10 and uh, the next one is the high noon and this is a pretty interesting one i think it's pretty average to be honest not really that great not really that bad it's got plus two in accuracy which again like i said it doesn't really need two in accuracy uh, so i think that's kind of a waste right there and then it's got minus two in mobility which means aim down sight speed which isn't too important doesn't really affect it all that much but again it's just not really a great variant i wouldn't really recommend it all too much and uh, then let's get into the elites these two seriously cool looking elite versions we have the M1 Irons Unforgiving Truth. This thing looks so cool. I really want this weapon myself. It's got kind of like a magnum look to it, like the silver and black. And uh, into the stats, it's got a lot of changes. Everything is changed. It's a completely wild weapon, this thing. It's got minus one in damage, plus one in accuracy, minus in fire rate, plus in range, plus in handling, and minus in mobility. So what does that mean overall? It's going to do a little bit less damage, but as I said before, it doesn't actually make any difference, so don't worry about the minus damage. It's got plus accuracy, which is okay. The minus in fire rate, which isn't too good, like I've said, plus 
plus in range, which is okay. That's kind of like an added benefit for extended ranges. Got plus in handling, which means it's going to be better hit fire spread, which is a good thing. And it's got minus in mobility, which is going to be your aim down sight time. So overall, I'd say it's a very average weapon. Nothing amazing, nothing bad. It's just a very average weapon. I don't think you really notice the difference, to be honest. And, and then finally, we're going to look at the M1 Irons Outlaw. This is a very, very good version. Elite version that is definitely worth its title. Plus in fire it, so you can shoot this thing even faster. Minus two in range, which isn't really all that uh, like a big deal because like I said you shouldn't really use this at long range and you won't really do that well at long range anyway so the minus isn't really going to be seen all that much and it's got plus two mobility so that means aim now sight speed is a lot quicker and it's also got that very cool wooden and gold finish so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video this has been all 10 of the M1 irons variants which one is your favorite let me know which ones that's say you're going to be going for yourself and which ones look the best to you and also let me in the comment section which ones do you have I'm sure a ton of you guys have some of these elite versions and these really good versions let me in the comment section as well but hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video give it a like rating if you did and I'll see you guys in the next one.